Hello, I'm Bill Faulkner. I'm the inventor of the topsy-turvy upside-down tomato planter. Our customers love topsy-turvy, but they've been to us several times to help get a better way to hang it. So what we've come up with is the topsy-turvy patio pole. It's very, very easy to assemble. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go through it one step at a time very quickly in the same order that it's in the instruction sheet. Uh, we have a complete part list here for you, and let me tell you, it's very easy to do. Okay, this is the attachment screw that goes in the bottom of one of the legs. It screws right into here, and there you have these for two legs, which helps uh, get level the entire patio stand up. Then you have the top two legs, and all of the legs have holes in them which you can put uh, drive pins down to hold it to the ground which helps to make it more steady. Then we have here, this is the bottom post. Uh, this is where the legs attach and then it comes up where it's swedged on the end. This is the top post where the top arms go and it, it, uh, swed it swedges down onto the bottom post to give you your main post. Uh, this is a locking bracket that will help hold everything together. Uh, this is the top cap that you use when you're finished. Uh, this turn screw here uh, helps to lock everything together from the base. It'll become clearer later. Uh, here we have the pins that you use uh, when you put this out in the yard to help pin it down to the yard for stability. Uh, they have the two top arms that go off to each side and these top arms uh, are what you put either two topsy-turvies or hanging baskets or whatever you want to hang, one off each side. And the, these are locking systems that will help uh, hold the legs and the top together securely. These are the th three push pins that, uh, that go through and lock everything together in three different places. And these is the clevis pins that go through the hole in the end of the lock pins that locks everything together once and for all. Okay, the first thing you do is you take your leveling screw and you mount it into the opening of one of two legs that have the leveling screws. You have two furnished leveling screws. You have four legs. They, they mount into this uh, bottom post and you look for the, uh, to, for the plastic part, the black plastic part in the bottom, and it's very simple. You simply put the top of the leg in the top hole and you put the bottom part of the leg in the bottom hole, and that's all there is to it. You mount all four legs exactly the same way, and it's as easy as it can be. Now we have all the legs in place, and I want to call your attention that the leveling screws, uh, this is the normal way that we recommend you do it, across from each other, directly across. However, for if, it, if it's better for your use and your, uh, on your landscaping or your deck, to put it a different way, you can experiment it with it and do it any way that, that does best. Then you take this locking bracket, which has four notches in it, and these, these go down upside down over the four legs and it, where the, each notch covers a leg, and, and this holds it into place. You lock it into place with this locking screw and this lock, lock nut, and it goes through the bottom, and it goes down in and screws into the threads underneath. And this will lock this tight as it can be. Okay, now if you, this is completed. It's all locked down tight. The legs are in there tight as they can be, and they're locked in four different places. Okay, this is the bottom locking collar. You go up and over down to the lower post, and you line up the holes, and you take the locking pin, and you go through the hole. Look around to the other side. It comes right through very easy. And then you take the clevis locking pin and you go through the hole. That locks the top in solidly, the legs, locks the bottom legs in solidly, and you're in good shape. And now you're ready to assemble the top part. First thing you want to do is take the locking collar and you slide it down over the top. It's okay just to let it down. We have, we have a pin that's mounted at the factory that'll hold that in place. The next thing is to actually put the arms in place. And that, that's the easiest thing of all. You just simply put this part into the notch and that drops into the hole. That's all there is to it. Couldn't be easier. You do the other side the same way. You lock it into the top hole 
and you lock that into the bottom. Now, this is the locking collar. We want to pull this up and you want to line the hole in the locking collar up with the hole in the post. And then you take one of the push pins and you push through the hole and out the other side. Then you take a, a, a clevis pin and you push it into the hole in the end of the locking pin. Simple as it can be. The last step is you take the cap, which has notches and holes. You want to put the notches directly over the top hanging arms, and then you'll take the push pin through the hole. Okay. Now that the locking pin is through, you take the clevis pin and you go through the hole in the end of the locking pin, and you're finished. It's good, it's locked solidly at the bottom and the top. If you have any questions about any topsy-turvy products, just visit us online at the addresses below.